This is very worrying at many levels. A friend who will end up being a part of a conspiracy to slit your throat is what the police suspect. They've nabbed seven accused. There is a hit list. The speed with which phone calls were being made, messages seen and threat calls issued. Police initially claimed that the killing of Umesh Kolhe, of course it's now been officially denied uh, by the police commissioner, was robbery related. Was there a deliberate attempt to bury the truth? And how widespread is this problem of those willing to follow the Sar Tanse Juda threat from Amravati to Udaipur? We need to look at this deeper. Joining me on the news track is Zeenat Shokat Ali. She is the Director General of the World Institute of Islamic Studies for Dialogue. Atiku Rahman is a respected Islamic scholar. Supriya Srinet is the National Spokesperson of the Congress Party. Abhijit Ayar Mitra is a Senior Fellow at the Institute of Peace and Conflict Studies. And Ratan Sharda is an author and analyst on the broadcast. My first question, Atiku Rahman, is to you. What do you make of these Sar Tanse Juda threats? not restricted to an individual, not restricted to a city or even a state, sir. Gaurav, your voice is quite interrupted uh, as, I, as, as I gather what you have asked me. You know, this negative slogan should have an antidote and the community miserably failed to provide one to the community. Rather, from day one, the community members should have come on the forefront condemning that whoever was demanding the either arrest or an apology from Nupur Sharma was not on the right track. Plus, Temi does not stand, does not count as far as Islam and Quran goes. The, the uh, system of Prophet Muhammad was to grant mercy and pardon to all those who used to, you know, abuse him. So and rather than we are looking at major disconnect, the... major disconnect in what you're saying on television and what some of these people seem to be doing on the streets. Look at the fear. Look at the fear. Within four minutes of a WhatsApp being shared, there is a threat call. There is a death threat. And then we hear the narrative. Dare hue hai. But let me take this to Abhijit Ayar Mitra. The killer according to the investigators, had a hit list. And these killers had a hit list, alleged killers, the accused, had a hit list both in Amravati and in Udaipur. And Abhijit, this clearly is not a heat of the moment crime. It appears rather well planned, God forbid, even orchestrated. Look, everything that has followed on from uh, the TV debate where uh, uh, Nupur Sharma's comments were taken, uh, seems to be orchestrated. Uh, the outrage was orchestrated. Uh, you have the same people that have in the past uh, orchestrated certain online outrage uh, 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 campaigns, uh, doing it all over again. Uh, what was different this time was those outrage campaigns did not have real life kinetic effects on the ground. This was the first time one of these uh, online outrage campaigns actually uh, eventuated in very serious consequences on the ground, riots, and now a whole uh, series of murders. This is not going to end here. Because remember, one of the things that ISIS, uh, ISIS's so-called training module, if you want to call it that, was to allow for self-radicalization to, uh, to happen through distance education and distance learning. Okay. So you will see that sort of self-radicalization through, uh, you know, do it yourself, uh, jihad for dummies, if you want to call it, uh, modules being circulated online. Uh, this has been happening. We've known that this has been happening for a long time. And there is a certain uh, coordination happening behind the scenes where it is not just targeting Nupur Sharma, but is also targeting anyone who supports or speaks up for Nupur Sharma. And to note very importantly, this is mostly, not entirely, but mostly happening in rural or semi-rural areas okay. that are not full metros which is where the sort of societal uh, schisms are a lot deeper. Uh, the ghettoization is a lot deeper and the sort of uh, uh, climate uh, conducive to radicalization is much higher. Climate conducive to radicalization and but you, what you're indicating is that this is orchestrated Supriya Srinath.
this is a cause for serious concern it would appear this is a serious threat to the nation that appears to be downplayed and a hit list both in amravati and in udaipur clear indication this was very well planned ma'am i am glad we are finally paying attention to the level of hatred that exists in india today a level of hatred and a level of bigotry where people are killing each other and absolutely any amount of radical action by no matter who is doing it the hindus the muslims anybody else needs to be denounced that is what we should collectively do what should we in public life collectively do ask for peace join our hands and say ye dharmandata chhodiye ye nafrat ki aag lagana chhodiye we have to coexist peacefully why is it and i'm sorry i'm making this political but why is it that we do not hear an appeal for peace from the man who can appeal to the most number of indians india's prime minister 16 parties have come together written a letter sir desh ka mahol bigad raha hai shanti ki appeal kariye rajasthan chief minister bar bar keh rahe hain shanti ki appeal kariye the reality to is that look at what is happening and radical elements what they are doing and bjp has to do some explaining here the lashkar e toiba terrorist is your it cell head the udaipur guy has links and the lashkar e toiba terrorist who was caught as a bjp member is not just the bjp member he is standing in the room with home minister i think that's a security threat not just to the country but to the home minister himself okay. is the government and the party complicit I mean, what is happening? That's a this grave a charge that is leveled. To is not the government the social fabric of this country? Is the government and the party complicit? That's Absolutely. a very, very serious charge asking. that you've leveled. Law and order, of course, is a state subject. Should the chief minister in these respective states not be taking action instead of appealing for peace? Yes, appeal for peace. I would like but to punish, answer that question. But punish the accused. Catch the accused. Punish the I accused. I will answer that question. Ratan Sharda, I will come back to you. Ratan Sharda. Is there growing radicalization? Is there growing radicalization, Ratan Sharda, that we are either refusing to come to terms with or not coming to terms with, trying to bury it under the carpet, or are we actually burying our heads in sand like an ostrich? Gaurav, thanks for calling a spade a spade. I don't want to get into political wrangling with the lady who has been uh, again going back to the politics of hate. i would just remind her that there were maximum number of terror attacks during upa regime and all of them were tried to be hushed up by saying that the, these were you know it has no religion etc etc at the same time hate, hate was created against hindus but that be that it may what is the main reason reason is the synchronic attacks happened even during rohingya riots if you remember across india using the social media it was a biggest hate campaign against northeast indians it was against the people there was riots in mumbai no action was taken and government was upa congress government then if you look at the entire the series of ca related agitations same thing happened the agitations during friday for last so many months first on hijab then on upar sharma excuse were conducted across india around the same time same day and there were riots with very synchronized efforts with stones and lathis and what not and okay. we have people they called it look at the network we have lawyer Uh, who was tutoring people when she was arrested there was international hue and cry we had a journalist who made a fake gujarat story and now she has been uh, converted into a media icon we have a fact checker who created the started the hate uh, hate cycle against nupur sharma and the entire hindu uh, hindu society which are seeing today when he is arrested he is called a journalist and then he is being created into some kind of hero if this is the attitude we have towards terror and towards hate mongers okay. then i'm sorry we are closing our eyes we are trying to deliberately create disaffection and don't tre- uh, don't so you are uh, saying there is a well orchestrated organization a, uh, okay uh, ma'am let me just quickly go to zinat shaukat ali get her initial comments i'll come to you because that's a very serious charge that ratan sharda seems to level he is saying that there is a well oiled system that is out to burn our country be that as it may if i have understood you correctly ratan sharda i will come back to you and uh, supriya shrinath wants to respond to your charge but zinat shaukat ali irrespective of the provocation irrespective whatever be the provocation can sir tanse juda ever be justified unfortunately we have seen a lot of these 
Sir, Tanse Juda kind of mobs coming together. We've seen it in Kashmir. We've seen it in different parts of our country. Ma'am, is it not time for message to go out loud and clear? If you have a grievance, approach the police, approach courts of law, street justice. Will not, be, uh, will not be allowed to function in India, ma'am. Thank you, Gaurav, for, for inviting me to the show. And I absolutely and totally agree with you that they, the rule of law has to prevail. And this Tan they say Judah, has been picked up from some, you know, organization in Pakistan, you know, which is, you know, which is a terrorist organization. And, the, and put it to the mouth of Muslims. Let me assure you that this has very little to do with Islam. But I also would like to say that, you know, there is a small minority of people, you know, who, uh, you are, who are trying to extinguish, uh, you know, the spirit of brotherhood in this country and who are also, you know, um, in the Muslim community who are trying to, you know, extinguish, uh, you know, or, or speak or use methods, you know, muscle power okay. in order to deal with the words. You know, Nupur Sharma said something. You could counter it with words. There is no need for you to pick up arms. I think that is completely against. And let me tell you, as a Muslim, what has happened to our poor tailor, uh, you know, Kaneyaji, I am, uh, you know, I hang my head in shame because this is what's not the Prophet's call. This is not the Prophet's mission. His mission was to establish peace and, okay. to, uh, and to make, uh, you know, to, to, to have a peaceful society. That is the order of the day. But unfortunately, internalizing, you know, a puritanical understanding and mistaking it to be a universal truth and presenting it in the name of, you know, a tenet, uh, 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 it's negating a basic tenet of Islam to start off with. And so it's, it's actually anti-Islam, you're saying. It's negating a tenet of Islam. And ma'am, I'll come back to you on this very crucial point that you make. But I want to, okay, Supriya Srinath, you had your hand up. You wanted to respond to Ratan Sharda saying that there is an ecosystem. Words to the effect that there is an ecosystem that's out to burn this country. And they're using every trick in the trade, including inciting Muslims. Uh, yes, there is an ecosystem and that ecosystem comprises of Dhruv Saxena of the BJP IT cell found supplying information to ISI. It has Balram Singh involved with ISI terror funding. It has Akib Shafi, the BJP leader in South Kashmir supplying arms. It has Devinder Singh where a probe was closed against him. Nobody knows what his role in Pulwama was, hobnobbing with the BJP leaders. It has Riyaz Atari having links with the BJP leaders in Udaipur and now Talib Hussain in in L.E.T. Jammu Kashmir, you talk about Kashmiri pundits. Pachas din ho gaye. Unka dard to suniye. Ek picture dikhane ki baat karte hain. Usse paisa kamate hain. Jab vaakai mein Kashmiri pundito ke upar aaye, to ye sarkar chup hai. Gaurav, you are a journalist, and I'm asking you only one question: What is the most potent way to destroy a country? And to my mind, that is fake news. Aap jhoot phalate hain, aap nafrat lagate hain, aap karte hain. Ye kon kar raha hai? ये भाजपा के चुने हुए सदस्य सांसद विधायक इस पैनल पर बैठे हुए लोग बिकम पेडलर्स ऑफ फेक न्यूज देर वॉज अ वीडियो दैट वॉज डॉक्टर ऑफ राहुल गांधी लिंकिंग हिम एंड सेइंग दैट ही हैड गिवन पीपल ऑफ उदयपुर अबाउट पीपल इन हिज कंस्टिट्यूएंसी इन वायनाड दैट वॉज बींग पेडल्ड प्लीज वेट दैट वॉज बींग पेडल्ड बाय मेंबर्स ऑफ मीडिया and by bjp elected representatives including rajyavardhan rathor the former inb minister Fair and enough. abhijit ayer mitra your aspect, panelists how is that aspect, acceptable in a democracy okay, are you going you, to spread absolute lies since you raised lies? a very specific question about abhijit ayer mitra abhijit would you want to respond to her ratan sharda has his hand up ratan sharda you go next but abhijit respond sir uh, listen uh, the person who decides to riot is responsible for their own actions this lady wants to see all kinds of strange mind control tactics and whatnot wherever, except she wants to absolve the actual rioters of responsibility. Okay, and this has been the Congress uh, strategy for a very long time. Absolutely what are you not. About right I started now? off Excuse by me, madam, I okay. Okay. one by one. I'm asking you, why did you share Ma'am, when you spoke, Abhijit, ma'am, when you spoke, no one interrupted you. Let, let Abhijit Ayar Mitra complete, ma'am. You will not interrupt me. Go on, sir. And, and this lady, on. And and this lady one by one. And this lady, and this lady is a known purveyor of hate. Notice what she just did when you asked her. 
three Hindu men have now been killed for basically supporting Nupur Sharma and she wants to equalize this to everybody. Apparently, everybody is equally responsible. Apparently, according to her, Samuel Party... One by one, one by one. The BJP terror network, please denounce that. Can you? Will you ask questions of the BJP? Will you tell me why were you peddling fake news about Rahul Gandhi? Okay, hold on. Nupur Sharma, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Supriya Srinath, Supriya Srinath, let Abhijit respond, then I'll come to you, ma'am. But only Abhijit. Abhijit, respond, please. So, this kind of normalization that the Congress party has been doing, it is the longest history possible. Like Ratan Sharda pointed out, during the UPA, there were the maximum number of terror strikes, which has now dropped drastically. What you are seeing today is the absolute fringe element trying. This is the desperate call, the plea, you know, of the uh, rear guard action, the desperate last rear guard action. Because what we finally have in this country is proper law and order that doesn't bring out communal uh, uh, violence bills, which automatically end up blaming Hindus for all communal violence around here. This is the final plea of a party that has gone from uh, uh, triple digit seats, two thirds majorities, down to less than, uh, down to two digit seats. So Can it's perfectly comment? understandable. This is the call of desperation. Rahul okay. Gandhi has no future. He is going no. nowhere. He's a joke. No, no. What whether he has do? a future, whether he's a joke, no, sir. Sir, 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 sir. I'm so sorry. That, that's that for the question. that's for the voters Answer to decide. And and that's not central to our debate today. That's not a central to our debate today. Our debate very simply is no, this hit list. I am asking. Rahul Gandhi's future is Why not the debate. Why did he choose to peddle fake news? That's the question. Why did he peddle fake news? I want okay. to ask this question. Does the, he have an answer to that? The, the, the mohol is not a bad country. Why are you doing this bad thing to a leader? Why did you play that bad video? Do you want to ask the country? But is that, that, is that bad bad video responsible for the deaths, ma'am? No, no, Rahul, I want to apologize. I want to apologize to Supriya, Supriya Shrinath. Because from, please uh, understand what is happening. Listen, India one by one. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, one time one person will say, and now only Abhijit, you have asked the question. Ma'am, you raised a point. Let him respond. I, I, I absolutely apologize for spreading that fake news. The problem with Rahul is he's such a pathetic joke. No, I don't know what is no real personal and what attacks. is fake with him. So I absolutely apologize. I apologize from the bottom of my heart. But okay. I don't know what is real and okay. what is fake. No, so, so, so that's, that, that's completely that's completely unacceptable. You, uh, you know, we will say, I am sorry, no personal attacks, only Ratan Sharda, only Ratan Sharda. My, my apologies to our, our guests and our viewers. There are no personal attacks that are permitted on the broadcast. Ma'am, I've asked you a question. You will respond to that question. You, uh, my request to you is respond to questions that are asked. You raised a point, he responded. Ratan Sharda, you wanted to come in on the point on this ecosystem, yeah. on this he ecosystem upon, that is out to burn this country. Explain that, sir. It's very strange when we have very sensible, moderate Muslim vices on the panel who are owning up the problem of the society, uh, Muslim community and trying to find ways of resolving it and appealing people to behave responsibly. We have a Congress spokesperson behaving worse than the mullahs who come out uh, on the street creating hate. Trying to deviate the debate into Rahul Gandhi and all that is not the actual issue. Issue is that before 2014, India was a peaceful country. There were, it was land of honey. It was land of beauty. There was no riots everywhere. All the riots that, were, that happened were all mythical. There was no riot in the case of Congress government. There was peace in Assam. There was peace in Bengal. Nobody was killed in Bengal. Nor in Kashmir. What kind of narrative are we creating? We are giving cover fire to all this. Weird. That was the first objection. That okay. secular liberal lobby has been giving cover, cover uh, fire to all the extremist, radicalized, violent people rather than trying to come to terms with the highly radicalized Islamic Muslim society, not just in India, across the globe. Are you saying that Copenhagen was something with Nupur Sharma did or RSS did? Are you saying Afga Afghanistan okay. lost all the minority because of what is happening in India? Are you trying to say that minorities in Pakistan, Bangladesh, but finished because there was something happening in India. Let me take and this, let me take this to Atikur Rahman. Happened. So please let us listen to sane Muslim voices no, and let them strengthen them. Let them continue to fight this element and not try to find excuses. You come here on TV and start shouting Rahul and what not. I do not understand. Okay, there is Atikur no Rahman, sir, sir, you made a point. Ma'am, let me bring in all our guests. I will come to you. And when I come to you, you're, mo you're most welcome to respond, ma'am.
Atikur Rehman, Arif Mohammad Khan, the governor of Kerala has said the problem is the kind of education that's imparted at madrasas. That needs to be sorted out to stop this radicalization. Only then this Sir Tanse Juda kind of mentality that seems to be gaining ground if some argue. Do you agree, agree that this ideology is gaining ground? Do you agree madrasa education needs to be sorted out to sort out such elements? No, Gaurav, I do not agree with uh, the governor of Kerala because uh, it, it's a stereotype being made against the madrasas that madrasa education is teaching terrorism. And what he is doing, he is quoting a Pakistani author and two books of that particular author. Now tell me if that author is concerned, will he not address to his own country rather than India? Indian madrasas are bereft of any funds, any infrastructure, any intellect, I would say. Hey, sir, the only thing is the madrasas is the mugging of the Sir, academic debate is not a genuine question in our country. Where is this mentality and ideology of Sir Tanse hmm. Judah coming from? How do you sort this out? The only solution to me, Gaurav, is when the controversy like this erupts, immediately people like the Kerala governor and all the ulumas and the heads of the community should come and condemn and guide the community that what you yes. are doing is not that your religion teaches you. Okay. Where, where was the Kerala governor got up since 15 years? Sir, but Newton's third law of motion is not action reaction ki baatein karne lagte hai logo and i want to understand from zinat shaukat ali before i come back to supriya shrinath uh, zinat shaukat ali how do you de-radicalize elements i mean how do you get out of that mindset that every action has an equal and opposite reaction or worse reaction that is almost like trying to justify sir tanse juda irrespective of the provocation the need is go to go to courts of law go to the police you're absolutely right you see i tell you this, this incident is definitely a wake-up call for the imams and the leaders of the Muslim world. And today it is time for both the clergy and the madrasas and the parents in particular to de-radicalize the Muslim youth, instructing children that such acts are not only detested and abhorred by Islam, but are in total contradiction to Islam's reverence for peace explicit recognition of tolerance, compassion, social equality, high moral order and spiritual depth. Unfortunately, you know, when it comes to madrasas, I have to, I have to say that after all, what is taught in the madrasas, yes, understandably that, you know, nobody on top sits to radicalize the youth, but at the same time, when you are explaining or when you are, you know, you, when you're speaking of a holy text, when you're talking about the hadith or when you're talking about the interpretation, when you're talking about Islamic jurisprudence as is being taught, you know, we are taught in a, in a regular format. That format now has to teach peace. That yes. format has to direct itself okay. away from any kind of, you know, complication that leads to this kind of understanding of Sultan Tejuda. Okay. Because as a Muslim, I feel responsible that a Muslim is using such horrendous and horrible language, absolutely. which is absolutely in contradiction to Islam. And, and preparing and hit lists and, and warning others. I'll come to that in just a moment. Ma'am, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Uh, you know, we need more voices like you um, uh, in our country very clearly and Atikur Rahman uh, and, and others who are saying it's time for moderation. It's time to wake up. Supriya Srinath, uh, whether it's Ratan Sharda or Abhijit Ayer Mitra, their indication is that instead, instead of propagating a, a peaceful way forward, there are some who are actually instigating more violence which led to these killings and the hit list, ma'am. That's exactly the problem that I'm pointing out. I started off this debate saying that no matter who we are, we have to denounce what has happened in Amra, Amravati or Udaipur and denounce it in no uncertain terms. No matter what our ideology is, we have to appeal for peace and we have to tell these people that you will face the might of the Indian law if you take law in your hands and that's what happened in Udaipur. 
The problem with these people is they are choosy. They choose and pick what they are going to raise issues about and agitate against. I want to ask them and I want to ask them a very simple question. Asibis, Shamshan, Kabristan, Kapro se pata chal jata hai. Is this the language India's Prime Minister should be talking in? Did or any of this lead to any beheading? In country where Did the any of this? I, I'm just trying to Let understand. Me, please. Did Let any me, of this lead finish. to any beheading anywhere? Gaurav, that's the problem with you. You're not letting me talk. No, I'm letting you talk. I'm just asking you a question. No, it, it is leading to an environment. It is leading to an environment of hate. Aaj dharma Action Bharat reaction. Is kadar hai ki logo ko lagta hai, wo dusre ko maar denge. Aaj no, it is not action reaction. No. What I am trying to say here is we have to appeal for peace. The Prime Minister has a brute majority. He has a moral sway. Why is he quiet? That's the question. Pradhan Mantri chup kyu hai? Chup bhi kyu nahi tol rahe? Kya iske baad bhi unko chup rehna chahiye? Or should he come forward, take up the moral compass that the Prime Minister of this country should have and say, aap ghalat kar rahe hai? He should tell his people, peddling fake news is only going to lead to more such incidents. Do not peddle fake news against the opposition, against the religion, against anybody. He should tell the fake news peddler. No, because my question is that the fake news peddler is going to be cut from the fake news peddler. No, 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 I respect your point. But I don't think you want to listen to me. No, I didn't listen to you. I didn't listen to you. I didn't listen to you. And I didn't interrupt you. No, you are wrong. You have said that you have said fake news. No. But when you have said that, we will all appeal to you. My debate today is on the side of the side. This is a hit list. This is a word. Abhijit, Abhijit Ayer Mitra, the problem is Radicalization. Why do you appeal to the Prime Minister? So law and order Prime Minister will handle this country in the country. Law and order will not be state subject. Prime Minister will not be able to do any work. Radicalization. Are you going to absolve the Prime Minister of his responsibility? You don't think the Prime Minister of this country is going to do any work? I would rather that the person whose job is internal security look at internal security. His work is the Prime Minister of the country. Yes, yes. But anyway, radicalization. Radicalization. Ashok Gehlot has saved the Prime Minister of the country. Which Modi Ji didn't save. In 2002, he has saved the Prime Minister of the country. Ashok Gehlot has saved the Prime Minister of the country. But today, the Prime Minister is the Prime Minister. His duty is to make his moral duty. सत्तावन लोग मारे गए थे मैडम मैडम गोधरा गोधरा बचा नहीं था मैडम मैडम अगर सच अगर आप सच का सामना कर रही हैं तो गोधरा बचा नहीं था मैडम अठावन हिंदू मारे गए थे मारे गए थे तो but let me let me get let me get let me get मैं कन्हैया लाल कन्हैया लाल का भी गला कटी गया कन्हैया लाल का भी कन्हैया लाल का भी गला कटी गया but anyway let me get let me let me get जेल की हवालात के पीछे let me get अभिजीत अभिजीत wants to respond to you okay only अभिजीत अभिजीत respond अभिजीत wants to respond to you only अभिजीत I wanted to back up what Atiku Rahman and our other lady panelists said. See, we can't blame books for what has happened. These books were written thousands of years back. Uh, you know, the context changes. They were written in a pre-industrialized world during antiquity or late classical antiquity. Social context change. Let's not focus on the book. Let's focus on the individual. Why are individuals in India carrying out this, uh, these kind of attacks? See, at one point of time, if you remember in the Saudi Arabia and Emirates, uh, similar things would have happened. Yet today, uh, if you remember during COVID, there was another controversy of insulting the Prophet in both Saudi Arabia and the Emirates. They did nothing to those people who insulted the Prophet. Uh, some of them lost their jobs, but that was about it. And they lost their work permits because it's linked to their jobs. But they certainly went prosecuted, executed, and things like that. Now, in India, where as it is, madrasa education is extremely low grade. And I want to back up Atikur Rahman on this that, you know, uh, uh, madrasa education here is very uneven. The problem is there is a lot of madrasa education here, which is completely decontextualized from situations and does help spread radicalization. There are a lot that do not. Remember, 16% of this country is Muslim. So there is a very good case to be made that okay. we have to start looking at the socio-economic conditions out here. But more importantly, to answer what Supriya was saying, why are we not looking at police reforms? 
We keep coming back. See the, the I will come to police response. I violence. will. I absolutely will come to police reforms in a moment. But you know, there is something that needs to be done immediately. There is a must do, should do, could do, and let's prioritize. What's the priority, Abhijit? The priority is stop these beheadings, and that is where we need to move forward in the right earnest and immediately. Zina Shokatani forcing people to issue video apologies within minutes of the post. What does this indicate? It means there are people in your WhatsApp group who are listening to what you are writing or who are watching what you are writing and could be passing it on to chaps who may come and behead you. This is scary. Yeah, it is indeed scary. You see, I'll tell you, the first thing I would like to say is that in connection with what the gentleman was saying just now, that we, it is imperative to recollect that, the, you know, when the Salman Rushdie affair happened, and there was such a furore all over the world. None of the Arab, the Arab world was extremely critical of him. But none of them, none, none of them used any method and they knew that Muslim sentiments were inflamed. But none of them ever gave that death kind of punishment or spoke about it. And as a matter of fact, the Organization of Islamic Conference, OIC, restricted itself upon member states to ban the book. It came to that. But no kind of violence, uh, even if Imam Khomeini's fatwa was refuted by them and not supported by them. So you must understand that, you see, there, there are multiple understandings that have crept in. And these multiple understandings need to be controlled. Okay. Because it is very clear from the Quran, which is telling you in Surah number 73, verse number 10, that, you know, all prophets were abused. All prophets. But what does what, what God tell them? And I'm quoting from the Quran to say, that learn to be gracious to them. That means people who insult you, you learn to be gracious to them. So the point is that you know, this kind of, you know, taking out swords is absolutely against. And it is a madrasa, it is a responsibility of the imams. It is a responsibility okay. of the clergy to teach this. Okay, and learn to be gracious is what you are saying. But Atiku Rahman, Atiku Rahman, that clearly isn't happening. Represents what is, is that this, for? Is this some kind of a show of strength, Atikur Rahman? You don't even know who you can trust in your WhatsApp group if someone is forwarding that information and that could lead to Sartan Se Juda. Gaurav, seriously speaking, we need to convey these words of Dr. Zina Shokatali across the globe by all of us together. Only one Muslim community, one Muslim ulama will not do this. We need your support. The support of corporated parties, the establishment, the bureaucracy, the police too. We have failed in our efforts. We have to double it. We have to make, you know, a more robust system okay. wherein the right word goes across that no blasphemy against the prophet is not established in the Quran. Okay. Fair enough. I will let that be the last word on the broadcast. I have run out of time on this part of the show. But for joining me here on this news track special, Supriya Srinath, Abhijit, Atikur Rehman, Zinat Shakatali, many thanks.